Does anyone know what a combo organ is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Large console organs like the Hammond B3 and C3 were used by many rock bands. However, the big drawback to these large dual manual organs was the size and weight. Bands needed a large truck or van and several strong backs to carry these to and from gigs. In the 1950s, Fox in England, who had been manufacturing large church organs, started to make smaller organs. These smaller, lighter, and more portable instruments were known as combo organs, since they were used by combos, another name for a band. They called their original combo organ the Unibox. It had a three-octave keyboard and was designed to fit easily under a piano keyboard. In addition to the standard organ sounds, it also had a good synth banjo sound. In 1960, Vox began making the Continental, which they called a transistor organ, since it was solid state, unlike the Univox, which had tubes. It had a four-octave, 49-note keyboard and came with aluminum legs that could be easily removed for transporting. This organ was made popular by the 60s British invasion groups like the Animals and the Dave Clark Five. Later that decade, Vox also introduced a two-manual version of the Continental. Another very popular combo organ that first appeared in 1965 was the Farfisa, made in Italy. Like the Vox Continental, it was available in both single and dual manual versions. Sales of combo organs probably peaked in 1967, when there were around 30 different organs ranging in price from a few hundred to over a thousand dollars. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.